Hello everyone, welcome to our channel and today we will see how we can use Webex as a beginner. So for that you need to open up your browser and then search for Webex on your browser in order to open this up and then just open up the very first link that you will see on the Google search results. Just open it up and after that this is where it will lead you to and you will be able to use Webex for various reasons and it can be used for messaging, it can be used for calling, voice calls and also video calls. You can do much more with the video calls and attending different meetings. So for that we need to join it up. So let's sign up for it and it is quite free. So we need to just click on this option of sign up. So in the free plan, you will be able to join a meeting with 100 participants. It will be an HD video meeting and you can also sh share the screens and you will also have personal rooms. So these are the things that you will be able to enjoy in the free plan and it is absolutely free. So all you have to do is just provide your email address. So let me type mine and after typing in your email, just click on this option of next or you can just directly click on this option of Google or Microsoft in order to join up. So just click on next. In the second step, you will have to provide a code that has been emailed to you. So just open up your Gmail account uh, that you have provided and you will be able to see an email from Webex team. Just see the code and enter it over here. After entering your code, it will redirect you to this page on its own and here you will have to just select your reason and also it will indicate the language then you need to provide some more details about you like your first name your last name your phone number is optional and after that you need to create your password and then click on continue so let me fill my details and after providing the details just click on continue and this is how you create an account with webex for free and you can either go for the option of download Webex for your PC or your laptop. And after that, you will be able to open Webex in a separate application. But if you want to go for this option of continue in your browser, then you can just simply click on it and you can still remain on the browser without downloading Webex. So let's explore Webex over here. Here on the top bar, we will be able to see that it is our profile and when we click on it we will be able to set our availability on this particular app so other people will be able to see us and in the settings we will be able to see different settings that we can apply for our account and if we need any help then we can just simply click on help over here and if you want to open up the webex meeting site then you just click over here and for the sign out the option is also available over here and when you click on this plus icon on the top, you will be able to see that you can send direct messages and you will also be able to create a space, which basically is a place where you have added certain number of people who you can just interact with. And when you click on this option of a search, you will be able to search for different uh, things like people, you can search for different uh, conversations that you have had earlier. So this is the uh, place where you can search for anything. And if you want to upgrade your Webex, then just simply click on this option of upgrade Webex over here. There are certain options which are not available right now on this web version of Webex. And they are available when you download the app. And so make sure that you download the app. It would be quite better for you. So now let's explore other options. So when you click on this option, it is basically our dashboard. So we will be able to see all the things that are going on with our account at a single place. And on the second option, you will be able to see all the messages that has been sent to you and it involves both direct messages and the spaces. So in the direct messages, it is particularly to you and from you and in the spaces, you will be able to add it in the team section and in different team section, you will be able to create spaces. So in those particular spaces, whenever someone messages or you messages someone, then all these uh, messages will appear over here. So let's click on the next option, which is of teams. Here we can organize different teams and create different teams according to different uh, environments like 
if you want to create a team for your sports related uh, stuff and if you want to create some teams related to your work then you can create both of these teams differently and let's see how it is done so just click on this plus icon over here right beside the team just name the team or whatever you want to name it suppose you want to name it marketing and you can also add some description to your team like what they do or the people associated with it then you can just simply add people to it and if you already have people uh, into your contacts then you can just add them by their name or you can just uh, write the email in order to add them into this team and after that you need to just click on create option over here and this team will be created and in this particular team you can just click on this option of new space suppose uh, in this marketing wizard you want to discuss some uh, software which is related to uh, this marketing then we can just click on this option of create a new space and enter the name of that particular software or maybe social media which can be used for marketing like we can type over here Instagram which can be used for marketing then we can just simply click on enter and a new space is created and we can add certain number of people in this uh, particular space and then we can just click on this particular space which is of Instagram and we can also add people over here related to this particular space suppose uh, there is a team which is specifically working on instagram then we can add all these people in this particular group of instagram and they will be able to um, communicate over here and chat so you will also be able to engage with them over in this particular space and it will also appear in the messages and this is the one i was talking about when we were discussing the messages you can see the content over here you can also schedule meetings with this particular space by clicking on this option of meet and after that let's explore the other part and which is of calls over here let's click on it here you will find all the calls that you have received or the calls that you have made and in this section you will see all the missed calls you can search someone by their email or their name and if someone has invited you using a URL, you can just type that particular URL and click on call in order to make a call. And this can be used to join different meetings. Suppose someone has scheduled a meeting with you and they have provided an URL. You can just simply type that URL or copy paste that URL and then click on this option of call. So you will be able to connect with them using that particular URL. And in order to schedule your meetings, you can just simply click on this option of meetings over here. And here under this section, you can schedule your meetings. You can start a meeting. You can join a particular meeting. And now let's see how all these uh, three things work. So in order to start a meeting, you just have to click on this option of start a meeting. And it will be started. After that, you can allow your camera, your microphone over here, maybe later. And here you can select your uh, audio connection, whether you want uh, your computer audio or you want to disconnect from your audio, then just simply select this option of don't connect to audio. And you can also select your speaker and microphone and test them. And if you want to mute, then just simply click on this option of mute. And you will find all the options related to video over here by just clicking on this arrow option you will be able to see the options so there's just one camera right now so this is it you can click on this option of start meeting in order to start this meeting and you can also connect to a device in order to uh, join a meeting using a different device like you can use your mobile device or your any other device to connect to any of the meeting and this is how it works And after you start the meeting, you can share up anything into your meeting by just clicking on this option of share. And you will be able to share the files from your computer by just clicking on this option. And su suppose you are in a, a certain meeting, then you can just simply click on this option of hand over here. And your hand will be raised on the screen and the host or anyone else will be able to see that you have raised the hand. And you may be having a question. That's why you raised it or you want to uh, ask something 
you can also add emojis over here and in this option of three dots when you click on it you will be able to see that you can connect to your audio over here you can connect to a video system a different one and you can also do different other things using these options like you can lock the meeting you can enable breakout sessions you can also see the meeting uh, settings over here now there is a beta option also for a new whiteboard suppose you want to use whiteboard in order to explain something then you can just simply click on this option of share a new whiteboard and you will be able to add a whiteboard to your screen and after that you can see the option of switch to desktop app in case you have a desktop app on your device and if you want to switch to a mobile device you can just click over here and if you want to end the meeting just simply click on this option of cross or close and to see the participants just click over here and you will be able to see all the participants here and in case if you want to chat with people over here just type your message and select uh, everyone or if there is someone particular person you can just select them uh, individually and send the message and this was all about the meeting now let's close it up and after closing it up you can also see the option of join a meeting in order to join a certain meeting of someone else that you are not hosting so just click on this option of join a meeting in order to join it and if you want to schedule a meeting just click on this option of schedule a meeting and here you will be able to see a list of options you can just select them as per your requirements like the meeting topic the date and time and who you want to invite to this particular meeting and what is the agenda of your meeting and if you want to set a uh, pass codes or any other thing then you can just click on this option of security and add the password to your meeting so only the authorized people can join it and then just click on this option of start and it will be scheduled and this is how you schedule a meeting so this was it from my side and i hope this beginner's tutorial for webex was helpful and if you need any further assistance you can always comment down below and we will be happy to help you out make sure to hit that like button and also subscribe to our channel for more helpful videos